what's going on guys? I'm the Toast here coming at you with another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video guys And in today's video, I have a discussion theory to talk to you guys uh, This was actually brought up by a good friend of mine who is on my discord uh, He was talking to me about some stuff. He's like man What if this happened? And I'm just like bro. I gotta go record this because that's a brilliant idea So shout out to my man uh, Super Saiyan Blue Eric. He does pop up on my streams all the time. He's a really cool friend of mine uh, for giving me the idea for this video so basically what this video idea is gonna talk about right now and it's something I want to discuss with you and I want to see what you guys thoughts are but as we all know right now in JP they are having their three-year anniversary going on as we speak and we all know the two banner cards LR Vegito and LR Gogeta both are very powerful cards, really cool cards to collect, you know, I still don't have one, but again, JP is not my main squeeze. Um, that would be global. Um, but, that's not what this is about, it's about who I like or what I like or anything like that, I mean, come on now. No. Uh, what this video is about though is, is a discussion video on what do you think Bandai could do with this? So as we know, and let me work on pulling this up here really, really quickly here guys. Let me uh, just uh, pull this on up to the screen. Give me a second. I want to open up that one. And I want to open up that one. There we go. So, as we know... Sorry about that, guys. It took a little bit longer. My computer didn't want to work with me here. I couldn't find the uh, passives for them because I don't have them memorized. And you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. But that's not going to change the entire outcome of this video. Well, So, as we know... The, the Vegito and the Gogeta work in a way, in a card way we haven't really, well, I mean, we have it in a sense, but in a different way. So it started off, as we all know, we have the Great Apes, and of course we have Giant Piccolo and stuff like that. Um, JP has Harutagon. But um, as we know, we have the Great Ape or Giant transformations in the game. So what that is, is basically, as you guys know, uh, when a guard that has the ability to become a Great Ape randomly comes into play it has a chance to become a great ape or a chance to become a giant if it's like king piccolo or something like that um and i think there's some other, there's some other cards out there that have that chance to transform um but and and now we have the new lr vegeto and gogeta which basically they do it in a different way um i believe it i believe they're both if it's like so many turns and it, like they have a requirement to fill out um, so I think I think both of them are 50% I can be I could be horribly wrong. Um, I can't seem to find their passive anywhere Let me see here. Oh There it is uh, the transformation super Vegito is unlike giant and rage mode that take up a, a turn or more The card actually becomes a new card with a new name super attack links and all that um, As a remainder of the fight furthermore, so basically that wasn't the passive. I thought that was gonna be the passive Dang it. Um, so basically what it does. Oh, there it is acquired uh, Patara Fusion is after turn 6, so after 6 turns, and if your HP is 50% or lower, they fuse into Vegito. And for Gogeta, it is, they do the, the same thing. So yeah, after 6 turns, and if your HP is 50% or lower, they fuse into a completely different card for the remainder of the fight. So unlike a Giant Transformation, or unlike uh, the Great A Transformations, they actually transform into a completely different unit and a completely different card. Um, with different supers, different everything. And they even keep their, their, you know, they keep their hidden potential. Everything stays the same, but they become a whole new unit. Um, so what that brings to my mind is, what if they ride with this for a little bit, guys? What if they try to make other cards? I don't know if they would do other LRs or anything like that. But what if they do other cards that do this? Say, for instance, um, I mean, one that comes off my mind is a Final Form Frieza. Uh, after so many turns, if his HP is so, like, if his HP is so low, or something like that, or if even if they can change up the passive, say, like, if you collect so many key orbs, or if their key gets to a certain point, um, he transforms into Golden Frieza for the remainder of the fight with an attack boost and everything like that. Um, or, as uh, my friend mentioned to me in the thing, what if they do an LR Super Boo? And then after so many turns, 
he absorbs Gohan, or he or he has a chance to randomly absorb a character. Like he can randomly absorb Piccolo, he can randomly absorb Gotenks, he can randomly absorb Ultimate Gohan. You know, there's so many characters out there with transformations that you can actually run with this idea. As we all know, the whole idea of transformation came from the Frieza saga when Frieza did it three times to, you know, blow away the Z fighters in the Frieza arc. And then, of course, we got Goku that went Super Saiyan. Heck, they could even do a car, a base form Goku that after so many turns, you know, like there's so many ways you can work with this now. Like this is actually a really refreshing idea that they did with LR Vegito and LR Gogeta that can really change the way the game plays a little bit. The only downside is with Vegito and Gogeta is the teams that they're on, if you get below 50% health, you're not doing the game right. Because th so I've seen people with those uh, cards on their team that have over 450,000 health. Like, that's a lot of health you have to lose in a boss fight to get that, that passive to trigger. Um, so, I mean, they would have to switch it up a little bit with some other characters, because otherwise we would never see those transformations unless you legitimately tank yourself to see those transformations. Um, I'm even... Another one that comes to mind, um, Sin Shenron. And they could have fun with this one. Every turn, he absorbs the Dragon Ball. After seven turns, he becomes Omega Shenron. Like, there's so many cool ideas with this that we could... Like, there's... You, you, the possibilities could be endless. They could even be new, new leads in the future. Like they can make those cards brand new leads for the game. So, that's gonna leave me with a poll for you guys. I'm gonna leave the poll up here in the card above. Basically, I want you guys to vote and leave your comment in, leave a comment in the down in the comment section below, guys. I want to know what you guys think. I want to know if this is a either I'm spe spewing out pure unadulterated brilliance. Or I should probably go hide in a corner for even coming up with the idea. <laughs> but guys, I do want like like I do want to know what do you guys think? Do you think this could be a brilliant idea by Bandai to create some new cards to keep the game fresh, or do you think that this could be maybe just a one-off thing? Like it's just gonna be for Vegeta, Vegeta, Goku and Vegeta for the three anniversary. I mean, heck, we. I mean, there's another fusion character out there. There's Kale and Khalifla. We could get a Kefla card that does the same thing. There's so many options out there. There's there's Topo into his God of Destruction form. Like, I honestly think it's a brilliant idea. I really would love to see Bandai roll with this and uh, continue to bring out cards that have this ability. Because, honestly, if they keep just bringing out normal cards, yeah, I mean, we're still going to collect them because, you know, we play the game. We, we support their game, even though content can get a little bit dry. But... Every so often when they come out with a great idea like this, I feel like they should roll with it. Because you never know what it can end up doing for the game. And honestly, I feel like this kind of a uh, update would really help the game out immensely, guys. So, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you liked what you saw, make sure you guys smash that like button for me, guys. If you got, We're going to shoot for 30 likes this video again. We're going to shoot for 30 likes on the video, if not more. Let's see if we can rise further beyond in the like in that like column guys and of course if you are new to the channel and you want to see more make sure you guys smash that subscribe button for me guys and make sure you guys tap the little bell because that bell lets you know when videos drop and when i go live for my live streams guys so thank you so much for watching guys this is on toast and i will catch you guys all in the next video guys so until next time laters